Alright, so we've got the character here, Joliet Fleur. Let's give her a very simple skin texture, because it'll help understand what's going on a little better if it's not distracting us. And I suppose also while I'm here I should take off those bits down below, also distracting us. Alright, so the problem, what is the problem? If I highlight this rig control here and move it, her hands move with it. My animator says, this is not a good thing, doesn't want that. So what we want is that these hands don't move. We'll probably make, I mean, we won't probably make, we'll make them definitely child, uh, children of this bone right here, so that we'll still get this behavior. If we move that bone around, that uh, moves her entire body and everything uh, from there. And, uh, we don't want to make it a child of this uh, root bone here, because otherwise when we turn like this, her hands won't go anywhere. So the first thing we do is we grab the bone, the, her hand bone, and highlight that bone there, go into edit mode, parent, keep offset. Okay, that's, we're done, right? No. Because if we start looking at the poses, we notice things like what's going on here, her arm is going into her body, her other hand here is going into her body, and then up here her hands are too far from her body, it's stretching, causing the arms to stretch. And in some poses it's actually kind of awful here, like for example, this is just going crazy wrong. So what is, what's the problem here? Let's undo that. So the problem is that when the, when these, these hand controls are children of whatever they're currently a child of, it's uh, this blue bone here, then whenever I pose that blue bone, whatever happened to her hands uh, is translated. And so if I move instead the hands to be parented to this other bone and it doesn't move the same as this bone they used to be parented to, then they'll no longer be in the proper place. Or another way of thinking about it is that I've counter-animated, I've already counter-animated her hands uh, in these poses. And so we want her hands to end up in exactly the same place in global space. So this is the practical use of space switching here. So what we first want to do before we reparent the bones is capture where those bones are in, in space. So what we'll do is we'll create a couple of empties. And we'll do an empty here. I'm going to use the uh, sphere because it's kind of easy for me to see. I'm going to make that point one in size, which is not very large, right? I'm going to call this one... Uh, oops, here, okay, display sphere, right? We've got to go up here to get the name. I'm going to name this one here, handl. Okay, so we've got a hand.l, I'm going to duplicate it here. I'm going to name this other one hand.r. Alright, so I've got a hand.l and a hand.r. Okay, so what do we do with those things? Let's take hand.r here and add object constraint. We're going to copy transforms of the rig. And this is hand.r, so the control hand r. Okay, and then on the other one, we can actually, I suppose, copy selected uh, modifiers. Was that? I don't know. Copy selected constraints, copy transforms. And then we'll take this one, and instead of doing control hand R, we'll do control hand L. Okay, so now what's going on? Everywhere as she's posing, every pose she goes into, we've got these two empties that go exactly where the hand controller is. Okay, so let's take these two empties here, highlight them both, do object, and then there's an animation uh, uh, menu entry here underneath object, and we can do bake action. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bake action the whole set of poses. We're going to do visual keying. Uh, I think we'll clear the constraints, will be fine. We don't want to overwrite current actions because there are no actions on the objects right now. And we're going to bake data object. Okay, so hit OK and what happens is it goes through all the frames of the animation and it keys those empties to be in those places. And so as, if you click one of these here, you'll notice there's no longer a constraint because that bake removed the constraint. There's no constraint on either of these, but they're still copying the hand location perfectly. All right, so the next thing we do is, now that we've got these empties essentially keeping track of where the hand controls are, we can take the hand control, highlight this bone that we actually want it to be a parent of, go into edit mode, parent, keep the offset, done. Okay, so now we come to here, and this pose looks awful because she is, uh, the hands are in the wrong place. But we can uh, just copy the, uh, copy the transforms of that empty now instead. So we're going to be doing everything in reverse, right? Add a bone constraint, we want to copy transforms, and we want to do hand.l. Here. Oops. I still had that bone there highlighted. So what we really want is to highlight that bone right there. All right, now we can add a uh, copy transforms, and we want that to be hand.l. There we go. And it created an empty, which we do not need here. So we'll want to do the same thing for her right hand here. So we'll pick the right hand, uh, copy transforms, and we want that to be hand.r. Alright, so now her hands are back where they belong, and if I pick any given pose, 
it'll be the same. All of these poses that I worked a long time getting the hand into the exact right location, touching her hat, uh, thigh here, is now in the correct uh, pose for all of the poses. But uh, the only reason they're in the correct place is because these hand controls are copying the transforms of those empties perfectly. All right, so now we want to again bake, bake those actions into the rig. So we'll highlight our hand bones. These are the two bones that we've done the, uh, done the copy transforms of. We'll pick pose this time because we're in pose mode. And pose also has an animation. Uh, there we go, right there, which also has a bake action. So we can bake action on that. In this case, we actually want to overwrite the current action, which means uh, I've got I've got a set of actions that are basically just all of those poses. If I don't overwrite them, it'll create a new action that has the hands in the proper place. But I don't need the old action anymore because the hands are all in the wrong place on that one. And I believe the bake data pose, I think that's all correct. So I think this is all correct already. So I press OK. Now I click the hand here. The hand has no constraint on it. And the other hand, also no constraint on it. So now these now these bones don't have any constraint on them, uh, but they are going to the proper place. So now I can delete these two empties that I created because I don't need them anymore. And now the hands are parented to a different bone, but uh, they are posed in the correct way that I spent all the time posing them in. So uh, that's great. So and we can actually prove it by clicking this. Uh, if I click this bone, it still works the same as before. But now if I click that other bone down there and move it, her hands don't travel along uh, along with her feet. And so. Uh, the goal has been achieved, and I haven't lost any of the uh, animation. So this would be a this isn't terribly important when you only have 39 poses, but all of these 39 poses are key frames, uh, and so uh, it's really important that the bones be in the proper place for all of those. So it really saved a lot of time than having to go repose her hands into the exact proper location. That instead I've just gotten it by free by doing that. Uh, setting up some empties, baking their actions, then setting up the setting up these uh, bones to those empties and then baking those actions. Between the two of those, uh, between that, the two sets of that uh, routine there, I now have um, everything set up correctly. So this is great. Uh, I suppose it would be even more important if you had, say, a 10 minute animation or something like that and you wanted to reparent uh, some bones. It's like, wow, you're not going to spend, you know, the, the multiple weeks it would take to go fix up all those hand locations. So a uh, trick like this will let you do the computer do it or let the, have the computer do all the work for you. All right. Thanks so much for watching and enjoy.